ไปอ oh. and we start now for another today another today another video today um, it's cold but it's sunny and it's pretty and I'm playing with a new toy can you complain I don't think so um, just hanging out by myself today just tinkering uh, it's the stepson's birthday so I'm not doing too much it is bright out here and it is gorgeous some days in winter are not that bad but checking out the front end going over everything everything looks solid and actually fairly straight the body on this thing is actually really clean and I'm stoked on that um, I just set the bed in a better spot and lined it up checked out you know the battery mount and get some of the wiring ran back down and I'm gonna start on uh, masking off where did I go I'm gonna start masking off the windows and stuff like that so I can do the firewall I want to finish up a bunch of the shaving and I'm going to paint it I want to do uh, carbon mist it's a color that I get from Home Depot that I really dig um, rust-oleum so I did it on the Fox bodies uh, firewall and the strut bars and so I'm gonna do it on this um, Hopefully be getting the TRZ manual rack and then the Motion Raceworks uh, manual brake stuff pretty soon. Uh, mess with the camera and lens here because it's stupid as usual. But yeah, just, you know, mocking up some more cage stuff. Getting it all laid out here. I got the back, uh, the main hoop roughly where I want it. And a nice tight fit. Pretty much all the way up and consistently over that way. Uh, I got to pull the... Um, don't light out to make it fit a little bit better, but it's pretty straight in there. Get the halo up to it, and then these bars over here are for the front that go down. So I'm gonna clean out some more of it. Um, today I should be getting the turbos uh, from UPS, so I'm waiting on that package. That'll be rad. We'll check out the 3582Rs and the wastegates. Checking out manifolds, wiring for the S10, and then I'm just cleaning up this gigantic mess. And we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into pulling the heads. Because I'm just going to say screw it, pull the heads. I want to do lifters. I'll do new Elgin LS7 lifters. Um, and, oh, we didn't get a C last night. Because I did it afterwards, I totally forgot. But we did run up north and grab BTR um, valve seals. BTR beehive push rods. And the... Big boy, we got a BTR stage three cam for the little 5.3. So it'll be twin 3582Rs. The stage three cam, we got the Turbo 400. It is a stock converter for right now. Nothing I'm worried about because I can change it out later. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off. I did pull the bolt-on yoke off, clean up the splines a little bit, and um, the drive shaft that I have is actually fit on there great. I'm gonna have to cut down the yoke slightly to uh, make it the same size as the one that came out of it, but I can do that later. I wanna get the motor and training mounted, then I'll measure for the drive shaft. And when I measure for the drive shaft, that way I can just cut the yoke to make it fit perfectly. So I'm not having to adjust the drive shaft length at all, just the yoke length. And then realistically, I'll probably put the drive shaft in the rear end, put it in the trans, pull it out about an inch and then wherever the motor lands, the motor mounts will just get welded to the cross member right there. It's easier, it's quicker, and then it, it works. And I don't have to deal with anything. I have some LS uh, Dirty Dingo mounts downstairs I might go ahead and use. But we have flex plate, flex plate bolts, crank spacer. I did a huge Amazon order and eBay order uh, last night after I got the camera and I was on my way home. So I have the harmonic balancer puller, I have timing cover, well I have a camshaft swap seal kit so it's timing cover gasket front main you know water pump all that stuff so we can do the cam so that stuff's here Tuesday today's Friday um, over the weekend I have some parts coming in so theoretically have the motor all together and stuff by next weekend and then try and get it back in the truck so it's not so bad we're gonna break that two thousand dollar goal by probably a, a good chunk because at first it was put it together sloppy dirty you know as quick as I could and just don't care now I'm you know I'm going the little bit more out I would have just left it like this and I'm gonna clean it all up and I want to wire it really nice fuel lines really nice uh, we're gonna do the TBSS intake over there and then I'll do fuel rails and then we'll probably do some, I don't know, 1500 snake eaters or something like that. I think 650 is a good number for this truck. Caged, 650, 
four inch front tires, 10 inch back tires, you know, it works. But get into pulling this beautiful little 5.3 down. And the last thing is, look, I cleaned up the headlights on the Envoy. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Tell me that is not good. I love that. Oh, I need to get a little more action over there, but whew, still, still loving this thing. And the other truck and the other cars are all out front. Too many cars now, too many cars. Like I said, start pulling the five three apart, do a little time lapse, clean up, get the cherry picker and all that stuff cleaned up and have some fun. Two thousand years later. Wow, stupid thing. Okay, uh, sounds like the old lady's coming out, but look. And the inside of this thing, this is... Hey, turn around, go back in the house. No, go back in the house. Round two. Bandit, be quiet. So, in there I got cross hatching. I did not expect. Sometimes I swear, it's all you can do to prove to people that these have 200 plus thousand miles because it don't look like it, that's for sure. I mean, that is, that is just, gorgeous in there I am I'm happy uh, no major sludge I was gonna call it the sludge monster but I can't because the outside of it is really dirty because of a oil pressure sensor leak and valve cover gasket leak the rest of it though oh, I guess I should come here and I'll show you guys come here like you have a choice uh, the block itself is actually like painted black new cam sensor and stuff so yeah it had a leaky oil pan gasket a leaky maybe rear main not even rear main so it just had a leaky oil pan gasket, leaky valve cover gaskets, and yeah, it's an LS. All of their oil pressure sensors leak like crazy. Maybe even the rear cam sensor, but I'm stoked. We got it torn down. Everything is fantastically clean. I mean, inside of the valve, oh here, let's look inside of the cylinder heads. Uh, sorry, a little bit rambling. I'm checking my phone every five minutes, hoping that the UPS truck is gonna show up or FedEx or whoever. I want my turbos so bad. Look inside of these cylinder heads. These are just, 
except for the dirt I got in there from taking the valve covers off. But I'll probably throw some simple green and stuff on there or some purple power. Clean the heads up on the outside so they're nice. Clean the block up on the outside. Um, possibly Motion Raceworks uh, or ICT billet. Probably Motion Raceworks because I, I just want to do motion everything. I love them. They're so Doug and all them. They're great guys. Uh, I mean, on social media, that you're great. They answer any questions. If you call the company, they'll uh, you know they'll set your fuel system up, set you up with you know what size turbos you need, anything. Their customer service is out of this world, and Motion Race works everything. So probably get a Motion um, Valley cover so I can get rid of these knock sensors because who cares about knock sensors? Uh, race car. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's probably throw a little time lapse of getting the windows and stuff masked off back there. I'm gonna wash my hands and get all this grease off. Clean up in here a little bit because I made a mess. And then uh, hopefully by the time the, that's all done, said and you know, worked out, the uh, turbos will be here because I really want to show the turbos. <laughs> I'm stoked on those. I want to see them myself, uh, the gates, all that. That'll be uh, so excited. So excited. I don't know what it is about. You know, I did the turbo Mustang. That was fun. I'm um, doing Donvoy. That was awesome. I love every bit of it. But something about doing this little truck I'm excited on. I'm trying to do a little bit better with everything content wise I guess and the reason that this one is really you know hitting home with that is it's a blank canvas you know I'm not starting on anybody else's build I'm doing everything myself and trying to get it done nice quality and quantity you know I guess that didn't make any sense I'm just trying to do this damn fast and kick some ass is what I'm trying to say and then I bit my tongue doing that too so that means I'm talking too much let's get back to working Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, if it wants to focus. Ho, 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 ho. It's Christmas, I do believe, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun. I'm just going to set you guys somewhere like that. And flip that up. Rotate that down. Ah! That's getting kind of crazy. All right. Let's start. Eh, let's see what the small box is. I have no idea. I have no idea what any of these are. In the boxes, yes, I know what those are, I mean, but I don't know which box is. So, let's just start opening stuff and see. This is... Really? You guys are going to get a kick out of this one. Big box. Little box. And in that little box, it's just a backup switch from TCI. For the envoy. Uh, let's set this up here. This can go in the big box, box of parts. Okay, let's see this guy. Let's see if my phone will actually come on now. There we go. My phone died at 15% battery. What in the is that? Aha! I'm like a kid on Christmas. I'm so stoked on it. I'm guessing this is Gates, I would assume. And I better be careful not to hack myself open right now. Why don't I calm down, slow it down a little bit. Oh, it's so small. That's what she said. You made me cry. One. Spoolie boy. Oh. That's so cool. Yes. Oh, just one in there. I'm guessing the other one came in another box. Okay, so that was over there. Take this box. Baron, you're the best. I love VS Racing. I understand a lot of people like to, you know, talk down on them and call them eBay turbos and China turbos and blah, 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 blah. And I don't care in the least bit. I've never had a problem with my VS turbos. I've had 7875, 7665. The only way has an 8375. And now we have two 3582 Rs. Um, yeah, I mean, they're little T3 flange, three inch V-band. Uh, I'm stoked, I could not be more happy. These are, they're water cooled also. I won't be water cooling them at all. Uh, there's no 
no benefit to me there if it was a road race car or something like that where it would see prolonged extended boost you know half mile race or something like that yes um yeah little quarter mile s10 not a chance uh will you just look at it i love it i can tell my battery is gonna die on the camera soon so i'm gonna go grab the other battery but oh i'm st the level of stoke is well, let's put that back in there the level of stoke is real guys it is it is real i am i'm a happy camper to say the least let's go ahead and get the rest of this unboxed get it all laid out and then i'll get a battery in the camera and we'll get back to you guys in just a little bit oh so unboxing took a little longer than i thought went for a walk with family getting home and just doing the usual walking out staring at this thing and just loving it can't wait to get the lexan from home depot to do the back window soon um i did get everything unboxed these are gorgeous little 35 82 r's um i'm extremely stoked on them three inch v-band uh exits t3 flange we have the dual 44 millimeter gates um ptr stage three we got the gen 3 five three over there i mean it's just gorgeous the cross hatching and everything i almost want to pull the pistons out and gap the rings but it's me and i'm not going to i'm just gonna put it together and send it uh i did remember that i had one of these stupid valve spring compressor tool thingies so i did two of these so far uh and do another one on camera on the gopro real quick maybe two more but <laughs> this tool is not worth the effort and so I ordered the nice uh, pedestal mounted one that bolts down here and then sandwiches two at once. So that should be here like Tuesday. Uh, I'm just gonna do this next one on the camera just solely because I want it to be on the camera. And while I'm doing it, I'll finish it out with a little bit of music and stuff. And that'll probably be the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and get masking done and stuff like that. And then we're gonna get some more in-depth uh, welding for the manual little steering conversion. We'll do the step-by-step -step, uh, manual brake conversion with the most race work stuff. But uh, with that, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you subscribed if you haven't. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. And let's get some valve springs done and just hate every second of this. Catch you guys next time. Average Joe Videos, out. I said Average Joe Videos. Average Joe Builds. <sighs>
And that is why I'm waiting for the tool, because that sucked. I like to give the valve a good bonk when I'm done, just to make sure it's not gonna spring out. But I got this one, this one, and this one done, so yeah. All this, I'm not done. <laughs> I'll do it again later. Average Joe Builds, out.